guys, this is Speco, and this is episode four of my Black Ops Sniping Guide. I'm going to be doing this in one take, so sorry if I mess up or something like that. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, first off, I'm going to be showing you all the kind of spots I like for this map. And then, on top of that, I'm going to show you some gameplay once to demonstrate some of those spots and do pretty well with it. Um, here's one spot, kind of towards C, kind of a spawn thing. You run in there, you can see over that barrel. It's all right. Uh, and get there quicker. I really don't like this doorway because uh, it gives you kind of a false sense of uh, security in that you can still see your entire body through there so that's not such a good spot. You want to always make sure if you're anywhere near this truck it is blown up. That's another thing because that's actually a pretty good spot to come over because people like the people spawn up towards the edge of the map right there and you can really take advantage of that or you can go to the other side and do towards the A spawn and uh, a lot of people like to get up on this this crane right here however uh, it's the only thing it's good for for me what I think is because is looking in over towards C and that's it you come out of here on this ledge and everything and you, you're really just out in the open and asking to get shot here's another easy spot to kind of watch C at don't pay attention to Beowulf he's just in this game uh, private match with me kind of kind of just chilling out but this is probably my first or second favorite spot on the map you sit over here in this bush people can't see you you can protect C and you can see all the way down to that little wall beside the forklift where a lot of people like to try to peek over and kill people running over the window and everything so yeah you and you can see pretty much half of the map from this location so it's a very very good spot to go to I very much advise it but plenty of claymore right there or put a motion sensor a little farther down kind of protect you because that is a spawn right there and people will spawn right there and come over and take you out this wall is okay the only bad thing about it is you really can't see anything until you jump up on top of it and stand up and then you can get a pretty good off the spawn very beginning of the game you can get first blood there almost every time here's another spot however people can see you easier there than they can back there on that wall people usually don't see you because you have no silhouette because of the dark side of the uh, the mountain I guess you could say right there um, people start spawning up there by the um, I guess you could say the electrical area I guess you could say you can get up on that dish and take them out pretty easy I do not like this little uh, this little area right here, that little cardboard right there, pretty much. I know it's probably plywood. It gives you a false sense of security as well, and that it doesn't stop bullets worth the piss. Um, this rock right here, people will spawn all over that, uh, in pretty much three different spots along the side of the mountain right there. So you can watch pretty easily and just kill, kill them as they come out of their spawn. Great spot. Um, the only thing is, you have to be aware of this direction towards the crane. And uh, that's another, you can kind of reverse the roles, because this is a very easy place to take over And that you can just, what I do with the claymore behind me, is I run a plan of claymore right out in the middle, to where somebody has to pretty much set it off and they'll shoot it. Usually if people see claymore sitting out in the middle of somewhere, they will shoot it rather than just leave it alone. Um, if you spawn over here, this is another great uh, first blood spot. You can you can literally watch people spawn on the side of the mountain over there, and it's also a great spot to uh, deal with people in the window. If they get kind of smart to you and you get killed right there, another place you can go is uh, behind each sides of this uh, the, what I call the snipe tower. Uh, going up in the snipe tower really isn't a good idea because you, you're so easily seen, and if you do lay down and you think you're being hit, it you still just as easily as saying just because there's snow on the edges to where you have to go kind of up on top of it to be able to see over and yeah you're not hidden up there it's actually a pretty bad spot to be in so I would very much advise to not go there again but you can kill people just as easily and better all on the ground than you could here's another spot that rock right there you can watch people spawn in the in the garage and right around this wall and also, it's what I use to uh, to counter snipe from up to my right towards the the I guess you could say the crevasse or whatever it's called up there. And whenever people, a lot of people like to go sit right there. But yeah, that's a that's pretty much all the spots you want to use. That the window up here, this other window, not the main window of the array, is not a very popular spot for people to go. So I really don't advise sitting there and watching that window unless you, there's a guy that's aggravating the rest of your team. Yeah, do that. As far as going into the array. I think it's suicide for a sniper, so don't do it for the most part because it's such a popular area, and you're going to be getting 
unless you've got somebody to help you out and watch both sides of you, you're, you're pretty much screwed. So, and whenever you come up to this window, you're easily seen from uh, a good fifth of the map. So just don't do it. Stay out of the array if you're a sniper. If you've got an assault rifle or something, more power to you. Go ahead and do it. But man, it's difficult to snipe from in there. And this little win uh, that little window right there is only for certain situations. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this map. I see a lot of people get up here on these uh, on these barrels and hop up here on this truck. This is a very bad spot. Stop using it. It's not good. You'll it's too easy to get killed. And yeah, you get a good view, but you're also you're standing up with a big old target on your head. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the gameplay and uh, kind of give you the show what I showed as examples of spots how they work. First off, I want to kind of mention an update as far as the what I consider the best setup. I um, know I'm using Hardline and the Hacker in this in this gameplay. That was just because I was using it for uh, for I think pros. I'm not sure. Anyways, so don't really take that. But the new best sniper rifle you can use is the PSG with a variable scope. That's because it can do the same damage essentially that the L96 can. However, it's a semi-automatic and it has to me better recoil so you can pop up multiple shots and it uh, does seem to hit on target more than l96 which is really nice i mean it's not like it, it, this game sniping as hard as it is uh, it, it's you can do every you need to do everything you can to make it easier basically l96 with this recent update with the P, psg is turned into a novelty gun rather than an essential so basically it's it, it's kind of like using either the intervention or the the Barrett 50 cal in MW2, you you may use the intervention and argue that it's more accurate and everything. It's not true. Actually, the Barrett is a better weapon. And also another update as far as your best secondary, the best secondary is going to be your your uh, sorry your Python dual wheel because that thing beast it it rivals to me the the the, the effectiveness and how you use it of a of the spas because those you don't have to put steady aim on and if you got a little you got decent decently fast trigger hands man you can you can beast anybody down within 15 feet of you every time and if somebody's farther away than that you need to kind of control the situation in that they're always farther away from you than that and also like i said if you get the chance pick up somebody else's weapon and right here i'm just trying to get myself killed it, so I can start my streaks all over again. That's why I'm running out through there. Uh, as far as I demonstrated before, that spot, you see me killing people coming out of their spawn. And you saw me at the very beginning using that other spot. And that just uh, that just shows how effectively you can kill people off of spawns. And as if you're wanting to rack up kills and, and everything like that, I would advise to use domination. Play ground war domination. You may not like it at first. You may think that it lags more. It doesn't actually lag more. It's uh, It just depends on the host. It doesn't really matter how many people are in there. It Usually, an extra six people, it's, it's not going to do what you think it is. And also, a good thing about ground war and sniping is, is man, you can it's a lot easier to rack up kills and get more people coming to you because a lot of times you do kind of work the spawns and if there's six people rather than nine it's it's going to be more difficult to get kills you may not think so but it's easier to work spawns and that's the best thing you can do on this map is work spawns as you can see we have a and b and they're they are going to continuously spawn over against that mountain right there i, I think i speed this up with the Valk calling on the Valkyrie rocket because that has absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, that's what you want to do on this map. You want to work the spawns. There's basically two spawns if between if you have A and B where they're going to spawn. They're either going to spawn where they were at on the side of that mountain or they're going to spawn over top. Even if you have A and B, they might start spawning over in the garage on the other side of the mountain. In that spot, I showed you where you could look from the, look to the garage where you have the uh, the tr I guess you could say the tractor. I'm not really sure. I didn't look at it really that well. And um, and you can sit there, and you can sit by that rock, and they will continuously spawn over and over again, right there. And you can kill them over and over again, and you can rack up some major kills. In this spot I'm in right now, as long as you got people, as long as they're not spawning there, you need to be. You, you can just destroy people and you also need to set up a, uh, a motion sensor or something in this area 
that way you can kind of be aware of people coming up to your right. The main thing with this map is just learning the spawns. And the spawns are on the side of that mountain, and they're going to be over by the garage and underneath the, uh, the snipe tower. Nobody's going to spawn in the array 99.9% .9 of the times, and they're going to come up. The, the, just the most popular spots for people to come to and the easiest spots to get sniper kills are right here, people in the window, uh, the main window of the array that everybody likes to go to, and coming up, and they, they'll they spawn in this area right here too, but they'll sp spawn over there by that electrical uh, equipment. I don't, I, I don't know what it is. I can't remember. Transformers, whatever. It's probably not Transformers. But anyways, and you can sit up at that, by that rock right there and watch them come over the edge and just tag them over and over again. But that's the main things to know about this map is just be control control the spawns and use pretty much three spots. You want to use three spots. You want to use this one. You want to use the one. Uh, well, I guess I guess you could say four. You want to use that one I was just using, which you can switch back and forth. You can either watch towards you can watch toward the back side of C and the back side of the array from that area, or you can watch uh, towards A if you and. Uh, I'm sorry, my, uh, I'm messing up a little bit here. And you can, uh, and you can kill people spawning back by this garage from A. You can kill people up there towards where the transformers are spawning on the mountainside from C. And then you can, I like to really like to get in the back of this truck and pop up and kill people. I think I do end up getting killed by somebody with a dragon off or something because he was already zoomed in and and. Uh, kind of dead on on me and I didn't know he was there but another spot is just another thing to remember is don't get discouraged about this because I mean 99% of the time it seems like that you're going to get beat by a good player with an assault rifle but uh, on this map as long as you kind of if you do almost exactly what I'm doing if you spawn on this side I guarantee you if you have a decent shot you will do well and you need to, and another thing is, you see what I just did right there? I moved up, and as soon as I did, I pulled out my pistols. Scout Pro is, is very, very useful, and you need to remember that. You don't want to use sleight of hand. I'm sorry. Sleight of hand and everything else, Scout just helps out a sniper like crazy. Because if somebody runs up on you out of nowhere, you don't have to worry about trying to, to pull off what a quote unquote quick scope or a no scope or something stupid like that that in this game pretty much relies on luck you can just whip out your pistols or just as fast as you can or if you picked up somebody's galil or you picked up somebody's fama something good then yeah man it just it, it it helps you out and also it helps your accuracy and you can sit there if you know somebody a lot of times if you shoot at somebody and they're close to cover they'll drop down in the cover and they'll wait just long enough to where they think that you won't be able to hold your breath and since you've got scout on they're kind of screwed so instead of them dropping down and popping up three seconds later and you're and you you're not going to hit them unless it's just pure luck you can dead on right in their face and i think it's with scout it's you if you listen to when you you breathe and you're holding your breath i think it's four heartbeats you'll hear and then after that fourth one you, you're you're out of breath and, I, and that's something to remember and also i love this spot i love this spot because you can watch towards c and you can watch towards a and this was uh it, and again man i just need to stress don't get if don't get pissed off like i do about your your if you have your reticle your crosshair is dead on somebody's chest and you pull the trigger and it doesn't hit don't get mad about that that's just this game's hit registration sometimes it's lag and sometimes it's just because you didn't hold your breath long enough and sometimes you can't which is stupid i don't think that you should have to uh, personally i don't think you should have to hold your breath for five seconds to hit considering uh, in real life if you hold your breath for five seconds you're not going to hit because you're going to start shaking the longer you hold your breath the less accurate you're actually going to be which is uh, kind of reverse to how it is on this game because uh, you start getting a little uneasy whenever you hold your breath for too long in real life and it's supposed to be a natural thing you hear on here where the guy goes 
and holds his breath, that's completely opposite of what you're supposed to do in real life because it'll actually, your heartbeat will actually make your gun jump a little bit. <laughs> At long distance. But anyways, that's uh, enough of me complaining about the stupidity of the game programming with this. And I know I've said before, well, this is a video game, blah. But some things are just absolutely retarded. I think I went, uh, I think, like 45 and 3 or something like that. I don't know. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. And I'll be putting out my next one pretty soon. And uh, peace.